Welcome back to Stalker Lost Alpha. So I'm still on the hunt for the code for the security panel, and it turns out I've actually just found it. It turns out I've found it before, I think. So I'm in a different spot here than I was before. I've actually returned to the lowest level of the lab. And it turns out the passcode is actually on this computer here, which I'm 99% certain I already looked at. Authorization code. 2345. Didn't I already look at that? But then... This quest is incredibly confusing. I don't understand the, the steps I've gone through and exactly what's happened. It's like I needed a code for a code to... what? I mean, this was quite a few steps ago, wasn't it? I, I don't understand what's happened. But uh, regardless, that is the code. Now I just need to find my way back. Alright, we get to experience the joy of... Attempting to get past the low gravity spot, which uh, you can see the barrel is not having any luck getting out of. It's just floating. Let's see if we can do any better. I'm so sorry, friend. Nope, that's not gonna work. rats. Ooh, this might work. I think I came in from that... No, no, no never mind. It's not gonna, what? Really? D does anyone know what this thing is about? Like, is this supposed to be an anomaly? Or is it just straight up a bug? Alright, well, I'm gonna keep working at this and I'll be right back when I get it to work. Ah, here we go. Alright. Finally made it. Okay, let's put this code in and hope nothing else goes horribly wrong. 2345. 2345, that's such a simple code. 2345. Cool. Hi. There's something there, but I can't see it. I'm just gonna run to the light. Alright, enter the override code into the computer and deactivate generator core. Now, what's the override code? Isn't that the code I just used to get into here? I... Uh, I don't know. I find your resolve admirable, but resisting a being that transcends every work of science imaginable isn't what you call smart, by my account anyway. Now, I did say I didn't have a physical form, but that's a fleeting matter. Part of that was so quiet, I could not hear what he was saying. I don't think he liked that. <laughs> what, is that all you've got? Was that it? Oh my god, a poltergeist. Come on, it's nothing I haven't seen a dozen times before. You can do better. Ugh. I'm actually quite hurt. Guess I'll use a med kit. Oh, he used a scientific first aid kit? God damn it. Nah. Whatever. It's fine. I'm sure I won't get any horrible radiation poisoning, right? That never happens. Okay, apparently I need to go down or up. Most likely up. Here we go. Not how you 
use a keyboard. And that looked like a blue screen. I think it was. Microsoft Windows, really? Why does the start menu say restart? <laughs> it's done something naughty, however, that's fine because the viruses are safe. <laughs> I'd like to read that full BSOD. Well, I mean, it's not a blue screen of death. I mean, that'd be copyright infringing. The blue screen of worrisome text. Did I did I not enter it? Did did I, did I just? Oh, okay, now I did. Wait, what? So there's a cutscene where he did stuff on the computer, but it didn't enter the code, and then you use the computer, and then he enters the code. What? The, the... Nothing in this game makes any damn sense at all. Nothing makes any sense, it just hurts my brain continuously. Like, what is even happening? Oh my god. I've already read that. Don't think any of that's new. the code of this is. Perfect. Nope. Tips War Gen Switcher. Appears to be the name of a raw asset. That doesn't seem good. Is that a teleport anomaly? I think it is. I really hope it is, because I think that might be my exit. Meet Ghost to the cemetery. Please take me somewhere good. Oh, thank God. I wonder if it'll actually take me to the cemetery. That would be handy. Nope. Just to the entrance. Ooh, that sky. What's with the sounds of the birds? That sounds like... That doesn't sound appropriate for nighttime. It's quite strange. Whoa, and that music. It's beautiful. This is actually really beautiful. Let's let's take a moment.
Hello there, friend. Strelok. It was a long road to get to this point. You see all the changes around you? When the generators were disabled, all the harmful emissions disappeared. It caused the plants in this area to regenerate and become healthy again. Actually, I think nature will heal itself now. Even all the mutants have moved away from this place. They will all probably die without that energy feeding them. But who knows? I can't describe what all this means to me. We did it. We really did it. Wait, that easy? Just... Everything's fixed? Am I at the end of the game? I actually might be. Indeed, it was teamwork that got us here. Doc, Fang, Guide. Without them, I'm not sure we would have been able to finish what we started. Still hard to believe, but... I still have a strange feeling about all this. What if this is just another facade by the... New Sphere? The hell is that? How can we be sure it won't happen again? Time will tell. We can't worry about that now. We blew the generators up. The zone is gone. Things should get better from here on out. You can already see the changes. Something's wrong. This is, this is way too easy. You're probably right. It's just... Ah, forget it. Anyway, there's still a lot to do here. There will be a lot to clean up and repair now that the zone is gone. What are your plans now? I have some business in the outside world. But I'll come back to help. Be careful. And take care of yourself. Of course I will. And never forget, if you need help, I'll be here. Now I'm going to go meet with Doc. He has good connections and maybe we'll start plans for our next journey. Am I supposed to be sleeping? <laughs> Am I supposed to be sleeping or what? What's going on? Uh. Was that what was supposed to happen? Um. What? Is that the end of the game? A few hours later, and then I'm, I'm sleeping, and then I wake up. What? It's beautiful music, but what the hell just happened? I mean, there's no more missions, uh, except for the side missions, but. I don't know what just happened. Hello. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, I feel like maybe my character got tired after it skipped time and fell asleep and that ruined everything? Perhaps my character is tired? Um, let's sleep, and then talk to him and see if that changes something? That didn't make any sense. A few hours later, and then I'm asleep, and then I wake up, and then he takes off running and nothing else happened. No, that- what? Alright, have a good nap. I want you to stay awake for the, I'm assuming, the ending cutscene. Alright. Shall we try this again? There we go, that's what should have happened.
Good doggy. Good hideous doggy. I can't believe I f my character fell asleep for the ending cutscene. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is so classic Stalker. Okay, that was what was supposed to actually happen. So let's see what it's loading now. I wonder if it's free roam? Wait. Is this the beginning of the game? It is the starting area. I've still got my side quests, though. What about my equipment? Yeah, I've got all my equipment, too. Huh. So, I'm assuming this is just... free roam, at this point. Brought any goodies? Uh... Sure. Yeah, I, I think it's just free roam at this point. Okay, that is the end of Lost Alpha. That uh, was incredibly abrupt and incredibly awkward thanks to the fact that Strelok actually fell asleep during the end. Oh my god, Strelok, what is wrong with you? You utter jagass. So, yeah. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about Lost Alpha. After all, I did spend 20 plus hours with it. I'll probably make a video talking about it. I don't want to give a wrap up now because I think there's there's just too much too much to talk about and too much I have to mull over that to kind of just do it off the cuff right now would be probably a bit a bit too hard. I don't think it would end up very good. But I just want to say Lost Alpha is pretty damn no not pretty damn, it's very damn extraordinary to have something so huge and with so much uh, passion obviously put into it and released for free it is really amazing. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's got a lot of problems, especially towards the end, but I still enjoyed my time with it. 
And to you, the viewer, I just want to say thank you for coming along with me. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for any tips anybody gave me, any information, stuff like that. It's all very much appreciated. And yeah, it's been quite a ride. Quite a ride. Filled with many flipping overs in various vehicles and many, many deaths and strange occurrences. But it's been an interesting journey. So, once again, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. And as far as the... As far as my future with other Stalker games, I am definitely going to play others. I'm not sure what, and I'm not sure when. I usually like to take a a break between playing any Stalker games, because they are fairly, fairly lengthy, to put it mildly. They're actually quite long. And I don't want to get burned out on them. I know it was quite a few months before, uh, between playing Misery and playing Lost Alpha. So as for what I'm going to play next, I don't know. I don't think I want to play any vanilla games. Uh, I'm definitely going to play modded ones. Yeah, and there's actually quite a few to choose from. I'm trying to remember their names, but I actually can't off the top of my head, but I've got quite a few written down, and I'm going to at some point do some research on them, and yeah, I'll definitely be back for some other kind of total conversion type mods for the various stalkers. So, look forward to that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Stalker.